old way of web scraping looks like this. The new way of web scraping looks like this. It's so much easier, so much faster, and you don't need much of technical knowledge to do this. I'm gonna show you three different examples that all use a unique approach, all using ChatGPT code interpreter or now advanced data analysis. So let me show you step number one, go to the website you wanna scrape. I'm gonna show you three different examples today, but let's begin with amazon.com and I've searched headphones here. Now imagine you can just get the entire name, the price of every single item here very simply. Well, the first thing you need to do is click on control S and click on save as type and HTML only. Now just go to step number two, which is to click on the advanced data analysis, which was code interpreter before. And then we're gonna drag the HTML file in here. Now you could simply say, scrape this website and put it into CSV, but you will get all of these different things that you may not want. So that's where we need a special prompt. Scrape this website into a CSV file where we only need the following items. Let's go back to Amazon again. And now what we need to do is hover over the title of the item, then right click and click on inspect. In the inspect tab, you will see that this is the span that we actually want to copy. So we're just gonna click on that, copy and paste that right in here. Then we're gonna go over the price, click inspect once again, and you'll see the class right here where you copy and paste that in as well. Now you can see that the problem was it only has 17 and it's actually 99, so we need more information. So we're gonna copy both of these. So you can see that we need to move up the folders and here is the actual one that we want. So we're actually gonna copy this element and paste that right in here. And lastly, end it with do this for all items. If there are missing elements, make this null data. We don't have this problem here where there's always a title and a price but sometimes they pop up a little carousel item or sometimes the price is missing kind of like what you see on this page so what it actually would do is copy this price here and put it on top of this and we don't want that now let's send the message there are different ways to do this that i'm going to show you in a minute but let's click on the download csv file and we just scraped all of the names and the price of the items Pretty cool, right? And now a word from our sponsors. If you love ChatGPT, but not as a Chrome extension, what are you doing? Let me show you one of the best ones. It's called Hicks AI, and you just add it to Chrome for free. In Google Docs, just write slash slash. And now you can ask anything from brainstorming to outline to social media posts. Just click on enter. I can click on done, continue writing, shorter, longer. And you just did it inside of Docs. Or go to Google and search 10 lessons from Warren Buffett, and you will see that it will answer in the sidebar as well. So you don't have to go through all these different links to get the answer you want, all with relevant sources. Even if you're on Twitter, you can just write double slash and ask AI anything, select the tone encouraging maybe and generate. Click the link in the description to get instant access. Thank you so much to Hicks for sponsoring this section of the video. The second way of doing this is for example, go to Twitter and let's go to lists and I'm gonna choose one of my lists of my favorite AI people. And let's start scrolling down so we load more of these tweets and uh, yeah, stop when you're ready. Now, if we do control S on this, save the file and then try to open that file again, you will see, hmm, this page doesn't exist. Try searching for something else, which means we don't have all the data we want. And this will happen on most JavaScript websites that has a dynamic page that you know keeps refreshing, but there is a workaround. Search for single file Chrome extension and download this Chrome extension. Now just click on the plugin icon. Now it's going to take a little bit of time to get all the content. And just like that, if we click on this one, you can see that we got all the data we need. So let's drag that file into ChatGPT. It's a little bit bigger, 20 megabytes. Let's use the prompt, put all these tweets into a CSV file with the following items for every tweet. And once again, let's hover over the name, right click, copy element, write name and paste that in here. And and once again, hover over the tweet, inspect, right click, copy element, just write name and paste that element. Let's write tweet text back again, hover over it, inspect, and let's get the likes as well. Hover over the likes, inspect and copy and paste. Now let's end it. If any of the elements are blank, make it null data and let's send the message. Let's check the result, download the CSV file. And it seems like it didn't work out so well. So let's give it more instructions. Just modifying the initial prompt. Let's check it again. All of the 
sweet scrape right there. This is more impressive than seeing Barbie and Oppenheimer at the same time. But there is one more example. Let's go, for example, to TechCrunch or any news website you like. I'm going to search for AI. And here we got all the articles they wrote for the last 24 hours or so. Control S, drag that file in. And there's a little trick here. Once again, hover over, inspect, copy element. And here you can see that we get the entire link of the article as well as the title. So we're gonna write link in the top, then we're gonna split this paragraph in half and go title, but that wasn't the trick. Also, let's get the date that it was published. Inspect, copy again, add it as date published. Now, what's cool with Quote Interpreter is that you can do multiple pages. So now let's go back to TechCrunch, Let's click next and let's save that file with a separate name, add it into ChatGPT again, click on the next page, different name, upload that one. I don't even know how many files we can add. Four, five, six. Okay, that's enough. Send message, download the CSV file, and they're all here, the date, links, and everything. If this helped you, give it a like, comment down below also to let me know what you think. Also, if you wanna know more ways to automate your work, go in the link in the description to my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.